Follow me on Twitch for damn near daily live streams, playing the latest games, talking about industry news, and just catching up with you guys, my audience, in a more personal and fun way. Twitch.tv slash BigFryTV. The link is in the description. I've been covering a lot of games recently that have been shutting down or dying or just not living up to their full potential. And for the most part, you can kind of tell early on whether a game is going to be successful or not. The writing is usually on the wall and it's kind of predictable. This situation in this video, however, came out of left field for me and I'm actually really upset. Antimatter Games, the studio behind Rising Storm, Rising Storm 2 Vietnam, the postponed but still upcoming FPS 80 3, which was a Cold War Gone Hot scenario game, as well as the developers behind the upcoming IGI Origins, they're shutting down. The articles are being written and published now, but I'm referencing GameIndustry.biz here. The UK-based studio Antimatter Games will close its doors within the next few months. I I'm actually... I'm devastated reading this. The developer's parent, Enad Global 7, announced that it would be winding down operations at the studio after exploring various strategic options to keep it open. EG7 considered shifting antimatter to a work-for-hire model, selling the studio, or finding a third-party publisher for IGI Origins, the first-person shooter the Truro-based team has been working on. However, none of these options produce sufficient traction within the group's target timeline, according to EG7, which counts the studio's closure as part of an ongoing efforts to improve predictability and profitability for the group. Antimatter Games is expected to be closed during the summer. An employee consultation process has begun, meaning IGI Origins in 83, both projects I just had like ample excitement for. I've been anticipating IGI Origins and 83 for years now. So hearing this is, is it's fucking terrible. This is one of those times where it doesn't quite make sense until you start really diving into the analytics here. So EG7 expects the studio's closure to result in a yearly cost reduction of around 4.6 million US dollars. So when you start to see just how expensive it is to keep these guys open and the fact that they haven't released a game since Rising Storm 2 Vietnam, like it makes sense from a profitability standpoint, but holy shit, if this means that we don't get IGI Origins in any capacity, or I mean, I, I'm gonna say 83, I, I think is dead. That is just, that, that's a tragedy to the FPS space. Antimatter Games describes itself as the largest gaming development team in Southwest of the UK, with its LinkedIn page listing around 52 employees. And I actually feel really sad for everybody involved here. This wasn't the case of, hey, we put out a game that wasn't resonating with audiences or we made a bunch of boneheaded decisions that changed the game and now we're dying. This was a studio that literally has been taking its time to create something hopefully fantastic. At least it looked like it through the trailers and we'll never ever get to see it. IGI Origins was a reimagining of the tactical first-person shooter genre and a prequel to the original Project IGI that was released in 2000. It was looking awesome and definitely had the same kind of vibes that Transience is going for, that stealth action tactical shooter element, skulking in shadows and killing your enemies stealthily or running and gunning. Like that gameplay loop is something I was actually really excited for, not only in our game, but IGI Origins looked like it was shaping up to be a really good project. I'm not sure if it was the delay of 83 and then, you know, start working on IGI and maybe it just took too long to release a new title. Rising Storm 2 Vietnam released in 2017, so realistically, it's been six years almost to the day that they've put out anything, and maybe IGI still had a ways to go, and their parent company just pulled the plug. They didn't want to continue with that, you know, multi-million dollar run rate. This was looking to be an awesome project being developed by a team that has obvious talent in the space, and they've been a part of some incredible experiences. And unfortunately, we're never going to get to see what they were cooking up with 83 and IGI unless the IPs and the projects themselves are given to other studios to finish, and even then, I can't imagine they would be any good. 
Let me know what you think of this news down below. Were you excited for IGI Origins? Did you even know about the antimatter game shutdown? Let's have a conversation. Leave a like on the video and subscribe for everything FPS related. And make sure to follow me on Twitch for damn near daily live streams. And let's have some fun. My name is Big Fry, and I'll see you on the next one.